I'm uh, up here at Edenville, Edenville Township Cemetery. And uh, a couple weeks ago, I was working here with a group of ladies that uh, started cleaning this cemetery up this year. And uh, this little tablet here laid right in this spot. And there was only about a softball sized piece that was visible. So one of the ladies started digging it up and we found that it's uh, actually a headstone for two small children. They're the uh, children of William Aaron and Mary Crumpacker. We did a little bit of research on them, found out that uh, they've got some family that, that uh, is buried nearby. There may be some descendants that, uh, that live close by here. But uh, for the most part, nobody really knows much uh, about them. So we uh, dug this stone up. We started cleaning it. Uh, we've gotten it pretty clean now. But now it's ready to uh, stand back up and set back in this slot where it belongs. So today I brought some uh, hydraulic lime mortar. And uh, I'm going to put it back in this tab or in this uh, base and I'm gonna brace it in place so that it doesn't move while it's curing up. Now when the stone originally broke it did break a large chunk of marble off the back corner so the back corner of this stone on one half will not be down in the mortar. Once the mortar cures up I'll come back and I will uh, patch that in with some um, marble mortar to make it uh, so that it's load bearing in on top of this uh, base so let's get started with that I got my mortar mixed up already I'm just gonna pour some in here and then uh, I'm gonna start staking it and uh, getting it square plumb level all that good stuff and uh, make sure it's in the right spot and then we'll fill the rest of the slot in as it needs it here. Don't worry uh, if you get a little bit too much in the slot you can certainly spread it around. If you get a little bit up on the stone it will uh, wipe off. You just want to make sure you get it in a timely fashion. We uh, need to lift this end up some. Let's see how we're looking there. Pretty good line across the bottom there that I want to be even with all the way across. Sometimes this can be the most challenging part, making sure that you got it looking good. See how that looks. 
that base is still just a little off level. Trying to make the top of that base and that line down at the bottom line up. And then we'll level the base later this week. What do you think? Could be a little better still, huh? That's it right there. Okay, now we're gonna get the rest of our mortar down in there. start doing the cleanup and uh, once we get this cleaned up some then we'll finish bracing it so it doesn't move Side and uh, then we'll make sure this thing is set and good and and uh, that'll be it so let me clean up this backside and I'll bring it back when I get that done okay so I did some cleanup on the back and uh, I had to mix up just a little bit more mortar because there was a low spot across the back uh, which is where there's a big gaping hole basically and now I've done some more cleanup. I'm going to do a final cleanup with this uh, bottle of water. Uh, this is just clean water. And what I want to do is I want to spray down from about the middle of the stone down. Uh, and that will get all of the residue from the mortar on my, from my rag uh, off of the stone. And uh, it doesn't seem like much, but... It does make a difference because uh, otherwise you won't be able to get that yellowing off of the stone.
And eventually I'd like this stone to be nice and white again. I'm going to go all the way around with this and uh, it's not going to hurt the mortar to add a little bit of water to it. It'll actually help it cure up a little bit stronger because the longer it takes for that mortar to cure up, the stronger, the harder it's going to get. So a little bit of extra water won't, won't be a problem. Um, and I'll stick around for a little bit once it starts drying and I'll go around this base and clean up all of this uh, excess stuff here. You can kind of spray that down if you want to. Every little bit helps. The more of that stuff you can rinse off, the less you're going to have to worry about it later. And once that dries, it'll leave a light discoloration. And it's kind of an optical illusion, I know, because the 2 by 4s across the top are a little crooked and we're not looking straight at the stone and stuff, but that is, uh, that stone is nice and, that line across the bottom is nice and parallel with uh, the top of that base. And once that all sets up, we'll be able to jack that left side of that base up a little bit more. Looks like it needs to go up about an inch and a half to two inches. And then that stone will be nice and level. It's sitting plumb in the base forward and backward it's good and braced and uh, should be good to sit overnight so that's uh, how you reset a slot and tab headstone perfect hey guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I did filming it if you did give me a thumbs up if you haven't already, subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss anything else just like this.